In this video, I'm gonna be recreating one of the ugliest websites I've ever seen with AI, but I don't know how to code. I'm simply gonna be speaking with AI and building it using my voice. This is also known as vibe coding. For those who know, this marketplace is called Craigslist. There's about 250 million users per month that use this platform, and it looks absolutely horrendous. I'm gonna be taking it from looking like this to this with AI while also making it functional. If you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you how you could do the exact same thing and build amazing websites and apps for yourself. All right, enough chatting, let's get into it. All right guys, I'm actually really excited for this video. I think it's gonna be a fun one. So first of all, we're gonna be using Lovable, which is a text to web app builder that uses AI to build apps and websites for us, even as a non-technical person. I've never coded before, but I'm gonna use this platform to do so. Second of all, we're gonna, gonna be recreating this horrible website, Craigslist. Most people have probably heard of Craigslist, but if you haven't, it's essentially a place where you can go and actually buy things. It's a marketplace, but it looks terrible. It looks like it was literally made in like 1963. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use AI to make this look so much better, like make it look like an actual website that somebody would pay money for. So let's go ahead and do that now. Basically, I'm gonna take a screenshot here. I'm gonna screenshot this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste this inside of Lovable. And I'm actually using Aqua Voice, which is a voice to text model that essentially just pastes whatever I speak into the user interface. So instead of having to type this out and giving my thoughts doing that, I could literally just like talk to my computer and it will build it for me. So we are going to be doing that. All I need to do is click F5 on my computer and just begin speaking. Hey, so I have this app that I wanna rec recreate and it is called Craigslist. I attached a screenshot above Essentially what I wanna do is I want to make this website just look much more clean and new and futuristic. I want you to add some gradient ac accents. I want you to break down by category so that way it doesn't just show a whole list of every single item listed on this page. And I just want it to be easy to use and to look at. All right, so you can see that I actually just pasted that into our prompt here. All I need to do is click on submit and it's gonna begin writing our code here. So I'm gonna give it a minute while it's going ahead and doing this and then we'll touch base after that. Nice, okay, so this is actually what it gave us on our first go round. This looks pretty great. So the new Craigslist, reimagined marketplace where the local community comes together to buy, sell, trade, and connect. We have our categories down here. So we got housing, we got jobs, we got for sale. Let's see if this is clickable. So it looks like that is not clickable. And then we have featured listings here as well as popular locations. So this, first of all, looks great. This isn't very functional. We need to add edits to this, but I like what it gave us so far. It looks better than this already with AI in under like three minutes. So that's awesome. But let's proceed and continue with this. All right, so next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to 21st.dev, which is a massive hack if you have used Lovable or these text web app builders. This is a great way for you to actually get user interface components that look absolutely amazing. And you could add them easily to your websites or to your applications that you're building. So I'm gonna click on this and I wanna copy this. I think this just looks really clean. So I'm gonna copy this prompt. I could open the component to see what it looks like. Like I would love if this could be a highlight of our website here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click paste and then I'm gonna come up to the top here and then I'm gonna speak with Aqua Voice and then just explain what I wanna do. I think what you created looks really good so far. However, I want you to implement this hero section to our app at the top of our website. Let's also maintain this theme and style across the rest of our website and landing page. All right, I'm just gonna let that run and let's let it do its thing. All right, here we go. So now we have this little beams background in the hero section of our website here. This looks great. The new Craigslist, wow, that's just like such a fire punchline for our website here. So next up, what I wanna do is I wanna actually make this, like these categories here, clickable because we wanna be able to actually click on these and see you know, each of these like individual listings and whatnot. So this looks great. Now for the browse by category section, I want this to be expansive. So when I view all of the categories, I want it to actually show me all of the categories as well as when I click on a category, I want it to take me to a separate page with all of the listings for this category. Also guys, I do wanna mention for the sake of this video, I just wanna showcase how you could build amazing user interfaces with this platform. I'm not gonna go in and actually build a full on Craigslist 
that is fully functioning and whatnot, that would take a bit too much time. However, I just wanted to show what is possible by coding with AI to build pretty cool looking websites. And I thought this would be a cool use case, taking something that most people know, something like Craigslist and just giving a spin, building upon that and actually building something that looks pretty sweet. All right, so it looks like it actually finished that up. And now if I click on these categories, if I click view all 10 categories, it shows all the categories here. So if I wanna go to house swap, it now takes me to this section with listings for these house swaps and whatnot. So of course, this doesn't actually have real details here of actual listings yet, but this is a great layout for Craigslist as opposed to something that looks like this, where we come here and then it just like, I mean, this just looks absolutely terrible. So let's go ahead and try to build upon this. All right, let's do something a little bit crazy here. Let's see if we could actually add a listing. So I'm gonna basically come to Lovable and ask how we could set that up. We might need to use Superbase, which is a place where we actually store information in a database. Let me see what we need to do first. Let me just ask Lovable. All right, this is looking absolutely awesome. However, I wanna now add actual products um, and featured listings. How can we go ahead and implement something like that where we actually allow users to upload an item and save that item on the platform. All right, I'm gonna run with that. Let's see, it's probably gonna give me some instructions on how to set up Superbase, but I wanna see what it says first before I actually go ahead and try to do that. Also, one thing to mention, if you are a coder and you wanna see all of the code, you can come and edit the code. You can see all of these different like uh, pages that have been added, all of the components and whatnot. So I'm not a coder, I, I can't really do much with this, but if you are a coder, this might be useful. All right, let's take a look now and see if this is now working properly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over, might as well just come over to a brand new full tab here. So this looks great, the new Craigslist. I mean, guys, this looks clean, not to gas myself up here, but let's go ahead and play around with this. So I'm gonna click on new post. Let's describe what we're selling. Let's just say MacBook Pro, $1,500. I'm gonna say I'm in Bend. We're gonna put this for sale, subcategory, electronics. I'm gonna say brand new MacBook Pro, taken out of the box, however, have not has not been used. Okay, and let's just upload some files here. So I'm gonna select this image, here we are. Boom, open it, and let's go ahead and post the listing. And now this should be somewhere on our page. Okay, here we go. So now latest listing. You can see we have a MacBook Pro here. That looks awesome. This is working. However, I don't think this is actually saving to the platform. So let me refresh. If I refresh this and this is not here, we're gonna need to add some Superbase integrations. You know what? That's actually loading. So this is pretty cool. Let me come back inside of Lovable, see if it's also saving here. All right, so you can see it's saving on this UI, on this user interface here. However, it's not saving in this browser. So we need to go ahead and actually save this to Superbase, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So you could actually save items or whatever in the actual database to make your apps actually fully functional. This looks great. I'm now able to add products here and add listings. However, I want these to be stored in a database. So anybody that has access to our app slash website can see all the posts that have been created. Boom, there we go. Guys, we're making some progress here. So if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. It's AI for non-techies. I cover all things for non-technical people and how they can use AI in their everyday lives, specifically using platforms like Lovable to build pretty cool apps with no technical background. All right, so here it's giving me the steps. We need to implement this functionality with Superbase, connect your Lovable project to Superbase, create a products table in Superbase. All right, I went ahead, I actually created a database inside of Superbase, or I created a new project. So all I need to do now is I need to come over, come to Superbase, click connect superbase i need to authorize lovable great so this is all set up now i just need to pick and choose which which project so craigslist is the the project that we're going to be using looks like that is all connected so let me go back here 
All right, so shows our app is now connected to Superbase. You can now work with a fully featured backend, add powerful features to make your app fully functional. So we could add user logins and accounts. We could store and use real data. So for example, whenever a user makes a post, it actually stores that information somewhere inside of a database that our user interface can reflect. And we could use advanced features, which are edge functions like AI endpoints, email notifications, payments, and scheduled tasks. So that is all good to go. Let's go ahead now and take test something, I'm gonna see if we now store our all of our posts in our database. Bike. Used bike in great condition, has both wheels intact. Let's just upload a photo. Bike. Here is our bike, how amazing is that? Okay, so let's select files. Used bike in great condition, has both wheels intact. All right, so I can now post our listing. Let's call this used bike. Okay, let's post it. It says our listing has been successfully posted. We can now see a post down here. However, in order to make sure this is actually storing in our database, we need to come to Superbase and we need to check our, our project here. So table editor, looks like we have no table for this. So we need to come back over to Lovable and let Lovable know. Hey, so I actually went ahead and tried to add a new post here into our Craigslist app. However, I'm not seeing that reflected in our Superbase project. So let's set it up so whenever there is a new post on the platform, it then stores inside of a Superbase database. And that way we could um, like always show all of the posts that have been created by users, even if we refresh the page. Guys, I, I love using Aqua Voice. Like, it's just so simple. The fact that I don't type anything anymore. I just speak it into my computer. And that's, I think, where we're going with the future of the user interface of computers. Like, what's the point of typing when we could speak faster and use AI to break that down and paste it into the UI? So, okay, so looks like now what it's gonna do is it's creating some form of rules. We need to create a products table in Superbase. So I could see us potentially running into issues here. We don't want this policy here to be too strict. All right, this looks good. However, I don't want our policy policy to be too strict. Let's just make it very seamless so basically anybody can make changes to this table. So the reason I say that is if we're doing if we're actually launching this as a um, a website and a platform that people are really going to be using, you might want it to be a bit more strict with who could actually make changes to the database. However, I think this should be fine for this just cuz I'm using this for basically a demo for this video. So let's go ahead and move forward with this. As well as here is the products table. So it's gonna store all this information. Let's make sure to store the information that we receive on the user interface. So if there's something that we don't have the user add to the post, make sure not to actually save that in the table. The vibe coding at its absolute finest. For whatever reason, like vibe coding is a trendy word right now and the name just kind of annoys me. It's just triggering for whatever reason. However, I guess I'm vibe coding, so whatever. All right, let's apply these changes, run with this, and then it should now be creating a table in here. So you can see we have a new products table in here with the UID or of the ID of the user, and the title, description, we got the price, the category, subcategory, location, images, time, views is featured, blah, blah, blah. So all this stuff that goes into actually creating a post is now gonna be stored in the back end using Superbase. All right, let's try to go ahead and give this a go. Let me go ahead and add a post and then we'll go from there. All right, so that's now working. You would see, I actually went ahead and I posted this. So new iPhone, obviously that is not a picture of an iPhone, but I did this just for the sake of this doesn't really matter. Featured listings, new iPhone, $500 for sale. Electronics is a category. And if I come back over to our super base project, you can see all this information is now reflected into our products here. So basically what I could do is I'm gonna see if I could publish our app. And if I publish this and then go to this app on a separate browser, this should now be stored there because anybody that has access to our app or to our website, Craigslist, can actually see this because it's stored in our database here, which is reflected on the user interface of our app. So right here is a link to our app and huh, it looks like for every reason that is not saving. So I need to come back to Lovable and try to figure this out. All right. It's allowing us to actually add a product and it saves it to our Superbase table. 
However, when I go to a new browser and access our app, it's not showing all of the products that have been listed. We need to make it so anybody that has access to our app can see all of the products in the listings that are reflected from Superbase that are stored in our database there. All right, okay, so what I did is I actually checked here. Looks like this is loading, so we have the new iPhone. And if I come over here, I come to a new browser, we have our new Craigslist app, and now this listing is now being stored here. So that's absolutely great because now anybody that has access to viewing our app or our website will now see all of the posts that are created. Guys, our functionality of our app is coming together. This is actually like turning into a real Craigslist. I didn't think I was going to dive in and actually add functionality to our app. I was just thinking I was going to change the interface. However, might as well continue on and see how far we could go with this. All right, let's play around now. And right here, I'm going to add just another post. Used tennis racket. Paid $100 for a brand new less than a year ago. Let's post our listing. Listing posted successfully. If we want to come back and make sure this is working, we go to Superbase. We have our new, amazing. We got our tennis racket, descriptions there, prices there, categories are there. Everything is being stored here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to come back again. I'm going to open up a new tab and this should now show our tennis rack. Okay, perfect guys. This is this is working smoothly. Everything is working exactly how we want it to. All right, here's another layer that's actually working as well. So if we want to come and check our categories, let's check our categories here. We have for sale and then subcategory beauty and health is where our tennis racket is. So if we want to make sure this is working properly, what we're going to do is we're going to come here. You can see our tennis racket is still there. We're going to now come to for sale. And I'm gonna click on beauty and health. And you can see our tennis racket is now listed here because it is flagged underneath this section here. So let's go to Craigslist and take a look at what we were dealing with before. If we're going to for sale, like let's say we're going to auto parts. I mean, this just looks so awful and hideous. Look at what we have created with AI in under like 30 minutes or something, 45 minutes maybe. So guys, there we have it. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys got some value from this video. I wanted to see if we could recreate Craigslist with AI using Lovable as well as using Aqua Voice to just speak this out and build it. And I think we did pretty well. I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I cover all things AI for non-techies. So if you're not a technical person like myself, I'm going to show you how you could either code with AI, build amazing things with AI, automate things in your life, and a whole bunch more so you can stay ahead of the curve in this world that's growing so fast. So if you guys got some value from this, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.